The Obamacare teach-in drew more than a thousand participants, the majority of them senior citizens. They walked on their own or rode buses to get to the event, all of them anticipating what they would hear that might clear up any confusion about the controversial health care insurance overhaul. The expert panel that was assembled to help explain the Affordable Care Act included Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, one of President Obama's most outspoken supporters of his marquee health care overhaul. For the first time after a hundred years of presidents trying to get it done, that health care in the United States of America will be a right, will be a right. What an amazing achievement. After enduring a bruising congressional battle, Obamacare was signed into law in March of 2010, and it withstood a Supreme Court challenge where it was upheld in June of 2012. At the heart of the bill is the mandate that all Americans have health insurance by the year 2014. With only weeks left before the rollout of Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act, organizers of this teaching say time is critical for getting consumers up to speed on its benefits. And when you think about what Obamacare means, it means peace of mind. It means that you can be covered when you get sick or if you get hurt. It means access. It means access to preventive care, to immunizations, to mammograms, and to physicals. The bottom line, said Thomas, is that Obamacare means those who are uninsured can now get the insurance coverage they desire, even if they have been turned down for coverage in the past. If you were denied in the past, you should apply again. Because this time, you can't be turned away because of pre-existing conditions. You won't be turned away because you make too much money. You won't be denied Medicaid because you don't fall into a, a certain category like being a, a woman with a child. This is a whole new ball game. Currently, there are 44 million Americans who do not have health insurance. More than a million of those uninsured live right here in Illinois, and a sizable number of them are children. Because of Obamacare, insurance companies are prevented from denying those children the care they need. Obamacare is also expected to greatly improve women's health services and expand coverage for the nation's poorest residents while improving preventative health care. Still, young people in the audience were concerned about possibly being eliminated from their parents' insurance policies. So either you can stay on your parents' policy if they don't have health insurance, you can go to the exchange, to the marketplace, get it yourself, and get it at a really good price. In addition to the expected health benefits of Obamacare, organizers informed participants that the new health initiative is by no means cheap. It's expected to cost a trillion dollars over the next 10 years, but that the real savings will come in the way of better health for a larger number of citizens. Those in this audience were enthusiastic about what they heard. A lot of the questions were answered. Uh, still a lot of um, things I'm not sure about, but it was kind of informative. It helped us to know when and where we can go to get information. I wasn't sure about some things, but after coming out today, I am quite clear. So I think it will be beneficial for all of us that live in the United States under Obama. Before they adjourned, the attendees also passed a very forceful resolution that organizer Reverend Leon Finney says speaks volumes about their level of future involvement. What happened here is that the Obamacare uh, idea and program got laid out and it took us a long time to get it laid out today as you know and it got laid out in a convincing way and so at the end of the day the audience over a thousand of us were here and they embraced the idea and then said if this is good enough for us it's good enough for everybody and so they sent a loud message that's going out through the media that this is something we think and we endorse and they res resolved for the Illinois dele delegation that this be taken to every member of the Illinois delegation Democrat and Republican as well as a president of the United States of America this is John Davis reporting